ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Today my topic is about effects of using an instructional game on motivation and performance. And most of the instructional design theories fail to address how to design the practice uh, that is motivation. Okay, uh, now today my uh, topic is uh, focused on the experiment by Kreiter and uh, uh, so Klein and Freitag in 1999, so recited by Gray, uh, Gay and Peter in 2003. In the experiment, the Klein and Freitag uh, focus on the instructional games, uh, which affects students' performances and the effects on motivation using the instructional games. Klein and Freitag assign 75 undergraduate students to uh, attend a lecture on the information processing model of learning. So after the lecture, the students were subject to two treatments. Number one, they used uh, an instructional board game to practice the material uh, presented in the lecture. Number two, this group is using a traditional worksheet. So results indicate that using the instructional game significantly affect the four motivational components uh, that is the attention components, the relevance and the confidence and satisfaction components. So some educators suggest that the instructional games are, are effective for uh, providing motivating uh, practice of newly acquired skills and information for the students. So they have argued that uh, the instructional games are motivational because they generate enthusiasm, excitement and enjoyment and they actively require students uh, to be actively more involved in the learning. So uh, the researchers report that instructional gaming increases student interest satisfaction, uh, continuing motivation and increases school attendance. Okay? So games are effective for increasing student performance and students become active participants in the learning process. So other positive findings regarding the instructional gaming by client and client are number one, the, uh, effective for assisting students to acquire, practice, and transfer mathematical concepts and problem-solving abilities. Number two, the instructional games have uh, positively influenced learning in actual business training settings. Okay, let's conclude my today's topic on the effects of using an instructional game on motivation and performance. And my next topic will be the focus on spirit epistemology in the adult education. Stay tuned, thank you for listening and goodbye.